Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 30. So the, cal the question is calculate the magnitude and direction of the currents in each resistor of figure 2654. Okay, maybe let's draw the current first. So I'm assuming in this branch, this current here is I1. Okay, let's name this as I1. And then for this branch here, I also assume that is going to the right. So I will have I2 there, which is going to the right. And then for this branch, I'm assuming this is I3, which is going down from here. Okay, now let's label this node or this point as point A. So the first step that we need to do is we do a Kirchhoff junction rule at point A, right? Kirchhoff junction rule at point A. Okay, the junction rule says that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is I1, right? So I will have I1. And then that will equal to I2 here. And then plus I3 is going out like here. Or I can rewrite this as I3 is equal to I1 minus i2 and let's save this as equation number one good okay now let's do another kirchhoff rule but this time is loop rule so if we draw this loop here this is the same as i1 okay and then another loop here this one this is the same as I2. Okay, now let's label the polarity of its component. So for the battery, the long one is positive and the short one is negative. Again, here the battery, the long one is positive and then the short one is negative. Okay, now let's work with the resistor. We follow the direction of the current that pass through them. So for example, this 25 ohm. I2 is flowing from this to this. So the positive one is where the current coming from. And the negative one is where the current get out. Right? And this is the same game. So I will have I2 is going in from this side. So positive one. And then this one will be the negative side. And for this one, I will have I3. The positive side will be here. And then the negative side will be here. This is the same, the positive one here, the negative one here, right? Because I1 is flowing from here to here. And for 120, that is also the same. We have the positive one here and the negative one here. Okay, I think that's good. Now let's do Kirchhoff loop rule at loop 1. Kirchhoff loop rule at I1. Okay, Kirchhoff loop rule says that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. But we have to be very careful about the sign of the voltage. <laughs> okay, so now let's start from this 5.8 volt battery. The current is flowing from positive to negative, so I will have a positive sign there. So I will have 5.8, 5.8, and then plus, I will have this one here, 56 ohm, but that is a resistance, right? But we need voltage. To get voltage, we need to multiply resistance by the current, and the current that pass through this resistor is I3, so I will have 56 I3, okay? And then next, let's go another resistor here we came from the positive side so i will have plus here 
and then we have 64. Okay, but 64 is resistance, so we need to multiply by the current. The current that passed through this resistor is I1. So I will have I1 here. And the same can be said here, so I will have plus 120 multiplied by I1, right? I1. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, now what can we do? We add up them. 64 plus 120, I will have 184 of I1. And then plus 56 I3. So I will have 56. But then what is I3? I3 is I1 minus I2. So I will have I1 minus I2. And let's move this 5.8 to the right hand side. So I will have minus. 5.8 okay now let's do some mathematics from here 184 plus 56 what is it 184 plus 56 that will be 240 so i will have 240 i1 and then minus 56 I2 and that will equal to minus 5.8. Okay, I think we can save this as equation number 2. But then we still have some work to do here, which is in I2. So now let's do another Kirchhoff loop rule, but at I2. Again, the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from the 25 ohm resistor. Okay, so I will have 25 and the only current that pass through it is I2 here. And the sign is positive because it's coming from the positive part. So I will have I2. And then plus, here we get the 3 volt and it came from positive part to negative part. So I will have positive sign so i will have three here and then plus and now i will have 110 resistor we need to multiply it by the current which is i2 and here we have to be careful because this coming from the negative side of the resistor so i will have minus 56 and the current that pass through this this part is I3, right? So I will have I3. So all of that will equal to zero, right? And now let's do some arithmetic here. 25 plus 110 is 135 I2. And then I will have minus 56 I3. I3 is I1 minus I2. So I will have I1 minus I2. Okay. And then let's move this 3.0 to the right hand side. So I will have minus 3.0 here. Okay, now let's do some arithmetic. So I will have minus 56 I1, minus 56 I1, and then I will have 135 plus 56, 135 plus 56, that will be 191. So I will have plus 191 I2. And then I will have that will equal to minus 3.0. Okay, so now we have the equation number 3. So we have first equation here, second equation here, and third equation here. We can solve this equation, right? So let's do exactly that. 
okay now i think we can solve for i2 and i1 and i2 from equation number 2 and 3 and i will take the easiest route which is using calculator okay so now let's set up our calculator as equation solver which is number 5 and then two variables is number 1 and so i will have 240 and then minus 56 and then minus 5.8 Okay, and then the second equation minus 56 and then 191 and then minus 3.0. Okay, I will have I1 is this value here minus 0 0.03. Okay, so let's I1 is equal to minus 0 0.03 and the unit here will be ampere and then what is i2 i2 is that one minus 0 0.02 okay minus 0 0.02 and the unit here will be ampere then what is i3 I3 is just I1 minus I2, so that should be minus 0 0.01, and the unit here will be ampere, okay? And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.